Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Here's the rules to my Nuzlite run. Pause the video if you gotta read them. Boop! Hey, welcome back to Tim Friend. I know. We're back with even more Pokemon. Relentlessly, we soldier on towards the final battle of Pokemon. Uh, I decided to just run two sets of back-to-back -back two weeks. Two, fuck. Two back-to-back -back sessions of Pokemon because I wanted to. There's not a lot you can do to stop me. Uh, we're going to be keep going through the water-type gym. Ooh. And some hot temple on temple action. Uh, we are f probably faster than it just by virtue of being higher level. So let's just let's goosh him with some acid. You know, a little goosh. Yeah. Oh man, I was hoping it would reduce the special defense. What a bum. And then now he did the mud shot to reduce my speed. What a play. Oh she. Oh, this is gym. This is gym trainer Julia, isn't it? This is Gym Trainer Julia Friend. Of course she has the same Pokemon as me. Why wouldn't she? She lives in the same house as I. She lives in the recording studio that we... Yes, hmm. And the curtain begins to part on the actual recording and living situation of Timothy Jama's friend. Oh, I don't know why... She's having Temple use Echoed Voice. It doesn't seem like the strongest move to use. Maybe it doesn't have Acid anymore. Maybe she uh, she beefed it on Acid just because uh, that's generally what they do. Ow. Get out of here, Jim. The ones who got soaked. This is a children's game. You get out of here. You get out of here with your pornographic language. All right, so here's the, here's the gimmick of the gym. It's a it's a switch puzzle, except the the switches turn on and off. Gouts of water, because it's a water type gym. It's just you have to find the matching color switch to turn off the matching color grate that the gouts of water pass through. It is pretty pretty basic, but this did fuck me up. I mentioned it before. I'll mention it again. Uh, I did have trouble in this at the demo. It is shameful for me to have to admit, but uh, this is this is Tim Friend. I've, I've certainly been more vulnerable with you guys before. I'll be vulnerable with you guys again. And uh, as a, a person who likes to think he knows Pokemon fairly well, it was not a great feeling to go through and be st get stuck on these basic-ass Switch puzzles. But, you know, that we can't always be on, you know? We can't always be at 100%. And uh, uh, the, the demo was at, it was at PAX. It was, it was PAX West. It was a big convention. And while I love the big convention PAX West, uh, it is definitely an exhausting time for an introvert to exist at a uh, place. It, it's, it's, a, it's an exhausting place for an introvert to exist at. Especially when an introvert has so many like things they want to do uh, like and people they want to meet but there's so many lines that they have to wait in and that that's that's the fucking the hashtag con experience for me is is wait in lines a lot of the time but uh it's it's not just the waiting in lines it's it's like the the density of people around even when just like walking the show floor it's just packed with people that you're scooching past you're trying to sort of Get yourself in a, uh, let's not learn flail. I, if I'm using flail, I'm already in a bad position. Uh, but the, just trying to gain, like, access to a, a flow of people going in the right direction is, it's, it's, a, it's something that requires sort of mental or, or, or emotional energy, I guess. This is not the switch that, that stopped me. This, this one's easy. It's, I believe it's the next switch puzzle. It's, <sighs> embarrassing regardless but yeah so maybe if I can if I'm allowed an excuse for why I beefed it on the switch puzzle which I'm telling you about even though none of you were there because uh, the only person who was there was me and the, the Pokemon booth attendant uh, who was who I was assigned to uh, and I while I am she was she was a very nice lady I don't I, the odds of her watching this are fantastic. Oh, shit. Oh, that's... 
Oh my god. Remoraid. I always forget about your weird... I mean, it's not weird, your fucking... your moveset, man. It's scary, Remoraid. Okay, I was like, was that it? Was that all the Pokemans she had? It was not. Uh, I am gonna switch. Uh, Choodle's a fairly tanky friend. Um, my worry is that I will hit it with a super effective kick type move. And it'll be like, oh cool, still not dead, and then do a, a large bite on Jubna with its, uh, boosted by its Iron Jaw ability, would be, uh, could be disastrous for, for friend Jubna. Uh, which I would not like very much at all. Ooh, get all the way back to full. Water gun. Oh, what a misplay. Oh, uh, I'm so glad for Kranglor, uh, and his quad resistance to water and you know what Kranglor this this gym is your time buddy this is where you come into your own this is where you are the most efficient the most effective is in this water type gym the thing you counter the hardest just because you quad resist it and you're super effective against most of them my fear is that we're gonna run into like a Cramorant or a Pelipper or some shit like that there's no more trainers all right so we got Turn the yellows, turn the yellows to different, and then turn the reds to different, and then turn the blues to different. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that hard, is it, Tim Friend? Just gotta fucking press them in the right order, you dumb poop. Yeah. Doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great how easy that was. <laughs> Considering... I mean, maybe maybe the demo had a much harder version, or it was more confusing or something, huh? Maybe. maybe. It's, I don't believe it's the case. I, I think it was just that. Every time, and uh, sometimes your boy's gonna make mistakes. Should we start with Lambda? Lambda's a little, a little squish. Uh, I worry about her having a Palpitoad. Hmm. Maybe we should start with Prombus. It was just kind of an all-around buster. What what do we got on the, what do we got on old Prombi here? Uh, double hit and knock off Razor Leaf Taunt. Oh, oh that's fine. <laughs> Not super inspiring. Let's start with Lambda. And if it's Polito Palpitoad, uh, then we will do a big old switcheroo to uh, either Kranglor or Prombus, uh, whichever one we feel is better in the mom. <laughs> just some vents of steam. I love the turn of the camera and the wave. And then it turned back 69. Yeah, camera. Showing this to all the people in the stadium. You gotta look at that fucking big ass bro. Big bold 69. Hehehe. <laughs> Troll the Pokemon League itself. God. I can't. Like, I can't even. This is. This shows how much of an absolute crush I have on Nessa. Is that, like, when. I talk about like how I perform Tim Friend is that I, I open my mouth and my brain fall out and when Nessa appear I just I just get stupid. God What her fucking makeup it's amazing God Her hair is so great <sighs> Jesus Her shoes are so stupid <laughs> Like what what why? Why does she have little floating rings on her shoes? Oh god God! Sorry, the waveform looks terrifying for that. Alright, Goldeen. Okay, Goldeen. Goldeen's in a weird place, because it's got Peck. Um, my thought is that I might be faster than it anyway. I think Goldeen's not slow, so Electro Ball won't... I, I don't think Electro Ball will one-shot it. Uh, let's switch to... Uh, Cheekers? Because Cheekers has high physical defense and Goldeen is a bafflingly physical water type. Uh, cause it's, it's like main thing is like fucking horn drill or, or, or drill pack or fucking whatever. Water pulse. Well, you outplayed me on this one, Nessa. You figured out my wonderful plan. Um, should I just eat? Nah, let's, let's take a big old bite. Let's take a big old bite of this fish. This greedent loves to eat that sush. Gomp. Oh, nom nom nom. Oh. Well, that wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. Let's body slam this fish. Surely this will be more effective than chomping on it. 
Uh, why? Why? Okay. I guess that's why. F you. Don't hit yourself. Thank you, baby. Good job, Cheekers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> A little over the top, Cheekers. A little much, Chico. Eh, hey, Chico. It's like the Spanish word. Ooh, bubble beam. Uh, yes, that's more powerful than water gun. Yes, please. Yeah, one, two, and ta-da. Hooray. Hooray. Aracuda. That's another physical friend, isn't it? Well, we'll find out next time on Tim Friend. Ah, you thought. I thought I was going to go over time. No, not today. Just the normal amount of overtime. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, everybody. I hope you have a, an ex- Shit. Uh, no, I wanted to have a good one. Okay, I hope you have a day where you get to smile at least three times. Bye, everybody. <laughs>